good morning or good afternoon, everybody, whenever you're consuming this. Uh, and welcome to our end of term assembly. Uh, happy Easter. I was just going through some sorting out my office, really. I've had a little bit of time this week in between the million emails. And I came across an assembly that we did last summer, which was about happiness. And at the time, I was looking at a Viking definition uh, of happiness, which was happy to life going well. Uh, and I think you could be forgiven right now for saying that um, life isn't going particularly well. But even in these strange times, you can find happiness. And, and, and there's a lot to be grateful for right now as well. So one of the things that I was looking at, that, that assembly, it went on, it was talking about things that you can do that make you happy. Uh, and I took these from uh, a website called Action for Happiness. So, so Google that if you want to find out more about this stuff. But they kind of, they have a, a mnemonic, a great dream. Uh, it gives you kind of 10 tips for, for things that, that, that are going to make you happy. Uh, so I thought it'd be worth revisiting those quickly uh, in the context that we find, find ourselves in now. So let's start with a uh, great dream. So G, G is for uh, giving. Uh, you know, what, how, what can I do to help you? Um, time, you know, giving, time, time is probably the most precious thing that you can give to somebody. So over, over the Easter holiday, uh, you might consider that person that would really appreciate a phone call or however else you're communicating these days. The gift of time. So giving, what can I do to help you? Uh, if you give, uh, it will make you happy. Uh, so great dream. So moving on to uh, the second one relating uh relating and i think there's no planes in the sky the roads are that bit quieter uh and, and we're getting out of our houses for less time so we're getting out for maybe if you're lucky for about an hour a day and we're starting to relate to nature in a way that we might have done for a while and, and, and relating to nature um will make you happy uh relating to your family or friends those people around you um that will all make you happy pets, anything like that. So just relate, connect, connect with people, with things around you, uh, which is not always easy at the moment, but, you know, relating is a really important aspect of being happy. Uh, great dream. So the next one is exercise. Uh, exercise is so important. The team uh, that are working here with the key worker, frontline children, uh, have set themselves the task of being fitter coming out of this than they went in. Uh, I, have, I have to be honest, I haven't made it into the gym uh, myself, uh, and uh, I don't think um, I'm doing particularly well with the fitter attitude, but I am exercising, and I hope everybody is really kind of taking that moment uh, in the day where they're getting to do some exercise, because if you don't, that is a surefire far away not to be happy. So exercise is a very, very important thing right now. Uh, great dream. So the next one is A, appreciation. Uh, so I would just say to you, don't moan. You know, there's no point in whinging right now. Even, you know, it's understandable, but just don't do it. It won't make you happy. Uh, express gratitude. There's a lot of people um, who are now going onto the internet and talking about three good things that happened today. Uh, so if you do write a diary or you do something like that, just taking uh, a moment to appreciate three things that went well um, will actually stand you in good stead, and, and it will make you happy. Uh, great. So the next one is T, uh, T for try it out, try it out. There's loads of stuff going on for free on the internet right now. Uh, I'm going to watch uh, One Man, Two Governors tonight on National Theatre Live. Whenever, whenever floats your boat, you can go on a virtual tour of the Sistine Chapel. Uh, lots and lots of things are free on the internet. Uh, you might just want to pick up that musical instrument that you've been ignoring for a while. Uh, note to self there. So just try it out. Just do it. Uh, that will that will make you happy. So that's great. Uh, into the second part, dream. Uh, D, uh, direction. And I'd say, you know, on that one, many of us start the day with uh, a to-do list. And I think that's probably a good idea to keep that going if you, if you do do that. Uh, it will give you that sense of control and kind of give your day a bit of structure. Uh, so that's D. Uh, the next one is a uh, great dream, uh, resilience. <clears throat> Good habits help with resilience. Uh, so be mindful. Uh, I would say, I would, I would suggest to you that you don't overconsume 
um, the news at the moment. You know, if anything really big happens, you will hear it. You know, once a day, once a day is probably enough. So get into some good habits. You know, get up and get dressed, make your bed, all that good stuff. That all helps with resilience. Great dream. E empathy. Um, we're all going to need empathy in the coming weeks. Uh, but don't forget yourself in empathy. You know, don't forget to consider and understand your own feelings. How, how are you feeling right now? And, and, you know, forgive yourself and be kind to yourself. Uh, empathy is, is, is going to be really important. And empathy is a key uh, aspect of being happy. Yeah, so that's great dream. We're up to A, awareness. Uh, awareness. So I, 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 on awareness, I'd say in this context, you know, keep things in perspective. Uh, listen to the experts, not the uh, conspiracy theorists. Uh, and make wise and kind choices. Wise and kind choices. That's what awareness is all about. Uh, okay, so we're nearly there with this one. Great dream. Uh, meaning, uh, meaning M, meaning, the last one, M. Uh, and you just have to look at those NHS workers who are running to the front line and, and all those kind of key workers and everybody that's just keeping things going. You know, you have to ask yourself the question, do, do they have meaning? Uh, in their lives and, and, and of course they do I and mean, that's why we're applauding them uh, every Thursday evening at eight o'clock uh, they have great meaning and I hope uh, if something comes out of this that it's helping you to think about what your future might look like uh, what career are you going to do is that is that ambition going to give your life meaning um, okay so that's great dream I'd say uh, just kind of bring my bit to, to an end uh, before we go on and look at our awards and everything else that's coming this morning. We won't have any live lessons for the two weeks. Uh, you, you'll you need uh, a break too. And well done, I'd say, to everyone that's gotten on there. You know, you've all been brilliant. <clears throat> You're part of a great community at SLWA. Uh, and I think we can all be really grateful for that. So don't worry, this will pass, and we'll be here waiting for you um, when it's all over, and we look forward to that day. So happy Easter for me. Take care. Anyway, uh, uh, it's uh, good to hear your voice. I, I know it's only a recording, but uh, s see you tomorrow. I'm
I'm a jogger, of course, there had to be a sport for me. I just never realised I'm a natural jogger. Feel the legs like two great steam locomotives pumping away. I'm cram, I'm a vet, I'm unstoppable. I'm, Jesus, is that a stitch? I, I need to walk. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. I'm literally gonna die. What an idiotic boob I was back in the This time day and age. Don't nobody come closer to me than three feet away. We need some blood clad sanitizer. Wash your body. Wash your hand. Wash your elbow. Wash your man. Don't touch my feet. Don't touch my feet. Don't touch my feet. Don't touch. Don't touch my feet. Don't touch my feet. Don't touch my feet. Hey, look. Move back. Man, I want to talk, nigga, cool that. I do, but then I get distracted or I don't quite take it in and I have to go back. I've been on the same four pages for three hours. I see. Mark, how do you read? Can you teach me to read? You want me to teach you to read? Yes. I mean, not literally, but how do you concentrate? Please tell me. Well, turn the telly off for a start. Oh, turn the telly off. Everything bad starts with turn the telly off. <laughs>
relax. We, we've got to fight, worry, speculate, talk, pace, swear. Why? Because it's an emergency. In, in an emergency, you watch breaking news and count your tins of butter beans. You don't sit in the garden and put on Kiss FM. Uh, so, uh, hopefully that was a good assembly, uh, given the circumstances. Uh, so the final word, as always, with these things is the Head Teachers Award, and uh, delighted uh, that the recommendation came in today for Abby Catlin, who's been here at Key Worker Academy, uh, and has just, like all of the children at KWA, have had just an amazing attitude, uh, but Abby has been exceptional. Uh, really kind of bringing a great attitude to things and uh, showing the way really in terms of having a good attitude uh, in these uncertain times. Okay, thank you. Well done, Abby. We'll get your name on the board, on the wall. Congratulations. Have a great Easter, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, it's Robert Willard, how you doing? Crazy times, strange times. Feeling a bit trapped at home, trapped in our cars, or not allowed into our cars, trapped, restricted in all that we can do. Uh, just like I am feeling at the moment in this straight jacket. What I was gonna do with you when we were gonna be there in the hall, surrounded by each other, smiling, laughing, having an awards, celebrating each other, looking forward to Easter, was to get put in this straight jacket in front of you, but I've only got three minutes and it takes a while to get in. But this is a regulation genuine straight jacket. I'll show you the back, move a bit nearer. I've had this jacket for 20 years, part of what I've been doing, telling people stories about freedom and recognising that many of us live in lives where we feel trapped. And all of us at this moment are trapped, trapped by this virus that's causing us to worry, this disease that's giving us dis-ease. And together, we're finding new ways of living. We're living in a new normal. And I recognise that many of us are finding moments of freedom. We'll be clapping maybe with our neighbours on a Thursday night. We'll be WhatsApping family members and uh, having a house party with them via their apps. We'll be taking things not so much for granted, like education and school and hanging out with friends and hugging people that are close to us. And so it's Easter and it's the time of year where I would, as a chaplain and as a Christian, be trying to tell you and share with you a story about this moment in Easter that happened in history 2,000 years ago where an individual who Christians believe was God as a person, as flesh. He walked this earth. He faced the challenges and the temptations and the difficulties we faced. And yet when it came to Easter, he stood alongside us on a cross. He hung alongside us on a cross, identifying with the troubles and the pain and the suffering that we all go through. And so many are around the world going through incredible suffering, just like many are in our nation as well. But there is a freedom that comes there is a freedom in friendship, there is a freedom in conversation, there's a freedom in knowing that you're valued and that you're wanted and that you're believed in. And, and the staff at, at the school, we believe in you, we think you're amazing, we value you, we want to encourage you. And we hope those words will bring, bring a little bit of freedom, like in a minute as I get out of this uncomfortable, restricted straitjacket. So this Easter, as you eat your chocolate and as you hang out and as you play another game of Monopoly, um, I hope you'll find a little moment where you can ask a question why? Why is this all happening? And what's my part in it? And what am I learning about myself through this suffering? Uh, because Easter is about suffering for those of the Christian faith, where their God, Jesus, suffered alongside us, in front of us, in front of his own mother and best mates. He suffered like many of us are suffering. And yet the act that he did of Easter was for freedom. It brought a freedom, a friendship. It brought a freedom of new life. It brought a freedom of hope. And it's that hope that we, many of us, are hanging on to. Those rainbows that are fluttering in windows that kids have drawn is a symbol of hope. There's going to be a better tomorrow. We've got to tough it out for today. So my prayers and thoughts and hopes are with you all. Have an amazing Easter. Relax, rest. <laughs> you're doing plenty of that. And when you're feeling restricted and when you're feeling tied up and when you're feeling life is just not fair, and it's not going down well, I wonder if you can grab hold of a little bit of freedom. So let's see if I can get out of this jacket, shall I? Because it's getting very hot in here. 
You can cheer along if you want to, you can clap, you can think, what a weirdo, but here I go. Let freedom come this Easter. You grab hold of the great story there. God bless you all. Take care. See you soon. Mashed. I, I can mash them. Right, we're getting somewhere. Cooking's all about confidence. I'm just going to mix it all together. I need to go Nigella. I'm going to be the hairy biker. That's not Nigella. That's not even Ainsley, mate. Somehow realize what you're not to do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now A backbeat, the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out I'm sure you heard it all before but you never really had a doubt I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And all the roads we have to walk are winding And all the lines that lead us there are blinding There are many things that I would like to say to you But I don't know how
Mm-hmm. Yeah. 